Is it possible to go scuba diving in Iceland? The photographer's paradise of Iceland is famous for its incredible waterfalls, rugged highlands, soothing geothermal spas, and one of the most picturesque landscapes in the world. Common activities for tourists include hiking, snowmobiling, and simply taking in the incredible nature by road tripping along the ring road, which encompasses the whole country. But what if I tell you that Iceland is also a diverse paradise? The year-round cold temperatures, stormy coasts and deep fjords don't appear like the most inviting diving areas, but there's one incredible spot in the national park Thingvallir where you can have one of the most mesmerizing diving experiences in the world. In the year 1789, an earthquake relieved tension between the diverging North American and Eurasian tectonic plate, which resulted in several new fissures along the plate boundary. One of these new cracks, around 45 kilometers outside of the capital Reykjavik, perfectly intersects an aquifer, which carries clear glacial meltwater from the nearby Landjökull glacier, which floods the whole fissure and gives it a gentle and renewable current of the clearest filtered water you have ever seen. The flooded fissure is just wide enough to safely dive in it and due to the constant inflow of extremely clear water, divers can experience one of the highest visibilities in the world. While drifting through the fissure, you almost get the feeling of levitating, since the water around you is as clear and undisturbed as fresh air. If you'd like to experience this remarkable nature spectacle yourself, you should start planning it well in advance of your actual trip to Iceland. First and foremost, the dive requires you to have sufficient diving education and experience Otherwise, no tour operator would take you along and you would expose yourself to severe risks. The water in the fissure is between 1 and 2 degrees Celsius warm, meaning that wearing a dry suit is inevitable. To fulfill the strict requirements of the Icelandic diving schools, you must either present an official dry suit diving certificate or show 10 locked dry suit dives, which must all be signed off by a certified diving instructor. Next to the certification requirements, there is a strict list of other requirements that you need to fulfill. These requirements include minimum and maximum height and weight, and a diving medical form if you are above the age of 60. You have to show physical fitness, be able to communicate in English, be ready for a tight and constraining dry suit, be above the age of 17, and have read, signed and followed the diving medical statement. I would strongly recommend checking and acquiring all proofs well in advance of your trip to Iceland to prepare for any eventuality. Once that is done, get in touch with an Icelandic diving school as early as possible to secure the dates that fit you best. All the transport and gear is organized by the diving school, so the only thing you need to do is be at the designated meeting spot in Reykjavik and you'll be good to go. After arriving in Silfra, you get geared up at the parking lot and walk around 150 meters to the entry point of the fissure. There are metal stairs and a submerged platform to the entry point to allow for acclimatization and to check all your gear. Once your group of three to four people is in the water, the adventure can begin. The gentle current of the fissure will guide you through the gaps so you can spend your whole energy on enjoying the breathtaking underwater cliffs. Boulders which tumble down into the fissure separate the space into several chamber-like formations and there are plenty of photo opportunities along the way. Roughly 30 meters from the entry point, you overcome a boulder which is stuck in the fissure in order to get to the so-called Silfra Hall, the first section of the dive. This 200 meter stretch has intricate cave systems at the bottom of it and more fallen boulders make you swim through a vertical labyrinth. The high visibility will allow you to see all the way down to the fissure to admire the rugged rock structures. After the Silfra Hall, you have to traverse another narrow and shallow passage in order to get to the second chamber, the so-called Silfra Cathedral. It is here where you can experience the enormous dimensions of the fissure, with lava rock walls falling straight down into the void beneath you. The high visibility will allow you to see all the way through the 100 meter long Silfra Cathedral. The section ends with a gently upward sloping sand layer which will guide you to the lagoon laying behind Silfra. Since the cross-sectional area of the fissure is decreased here, the current picks up a little and you get almost flushed to the next and final section of the dive. 
Once you're out of the cathedral, you need to take a sharp left turn to prevent being carried all the way to the Thingvalavatn lake behind the lagoon. And from here, your silver experience will slowly come to an end. Since there are a few sediments suspended in the water, the visibility in the lagoon slightly decreases, but it's still enough to almost view the entire space from underwater. After around 30 minutes in the water, it is finally time to climb out at the northeastern shore of the lagoon. The adrenaline and the incredible views of the cold water will keep you somewhat warm during the dive, but it is the hands and the face where you will feel it the most. From the exit point, it's just a short walk back to the parking lot until you can warm up with some hot chocolate and reflect on what you've just experienced. Silfra is the only location in the entire world which lets you dive between two tectonic plates, and I recommend everybody who fulfills the prerequisites to give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Cheers.